Home to the annual Indaba, the Durban ICC was a hive of activity this week as members of the tourism industry from around the world congregated to discover the magnificent places and vibrant culture which South Africa has to offer travelers. After an exhilarating opening ceremony filled with music and dance, the Heritage Pavilion then took center stage as Indaba joined hands with some of SA's top designers to create an experience none would forget. Home to some of the most breathtaking natural sites in the world, South Africa is truly a unique and beautiful tourist destination. Celebrating our incredible heritage and culture is at the heart of this year's Indaba, and we're right here in Durban to be inspired by our magnificent country. Hoping to capture the imagination of its visitors, the South African Tourism Board commissioned esteemed designers Tula Cindy, David Lale, Marian Fassler, and Nkinsani Nkosi to create one-off outstanding garments which would translate the wonder of our heritage sites into wearable garments. So I'm here with Tula Cindy who's jetted down to be here at Indaba and his beautiful design is actually inspired by the Drakensberg and the really ancient artwork of the sand people. So being inspired by quite an ancient landscape which was last inhibited 2,000 years ago, how have you translated that into a modern design for a fashion audience today? You know, it was quite a challenge creating a modern garment inspired by the Drakensberg, especially the Ukatla Baroque paintings, which, like you said, they're ancient. But my first thought was that it has to be contemporary. I've got to take the idea of rock work and rock artwork that was done 2,000 years ago and just make a parallel with graffiti that's happening today. So I used the Stuffkin flag colors, which are somehow very, very vibrant, and I turned them down and I just added them onto my garment, which is a very floaty dress made of Italian of tulle and crystals, rock crystals. So would you say that bling are the rocks for 2013? <laughs> I would say spray paint is the landscape for 2013. You know, I really try to add that kind of very contemporary, you know, very, very fresh way because South African tourism is also promoting South Africa in a very fresh way, in a very innovative way. So I wanted to take it in that spirit, not just in a very literal sense of drawing the little elons and the little men running on the dress. So part of this whole Indaba project has been mentoring an up-and-coming designer. Tell us about this experience of guiding her her design. She was very, very special to me. Um, her name is Angie Masike. She is a brilliant designer and um, her theme was a nature reserve. I just told her to go with her gut to create something very organic as well, something very unexpected. So you'll see her garment is very, very lifelike. She brought that, that dynamic feeling of being in the forest. She brought that to the garment and I think it was a great success as well. David Lale selected the Freda Ford Dome, a historic World Heritage Site in the Free State, as his muse for the project. Through rough fabric textures and earthy colors, he personified the landscape of this geographical treasure. So I'm here with Kanzani from Stone Cherry, an iconic fashion label here in South Africa. Great to be here with you. Thank you. So now your design has some really beautiful visual elements to it. Just tell us how you have captured the spirit of your chosen heritage site in your design. Well, we were lucky enough to do two, to represent two heritage sites. So it was the Isumangaliso Wetlands Park, and the second one was the Table Mountain National Park. And I mean, who wouldn't be inspired by these really, really amazing places? Isumangaliso, really, um, simply put, is a place of awe. Um, and for us, you know, we really wanted to capture the, this miraculous, magical, mysterious element that everybody describes. And we did that um, by creating a dress. The silhouette is really resembles like a water lily. And I love the fact that we were able to delve into the fantastical, which we so love to do. Um, we incorporated a lot of beading and glitter to create the mystery and the magic. And the Table Mountain one was also, you know, just celebrating the, the fauna and flora that exist on that, in that national park. And we used airbrushing um, on very delicate silk because you, you know, you get the rigid, rough nature reserve, but there's also the, the beauty and the, the ethereal quality of just Cape Town. And we tried to capture that by using silk and beading and embellishment. It was a lot of fun. Inspired by the lost city of the Mapungubwe National Park and the wealthy civilization that lived there, Marianne Fassler mentored her apprentices to create an evening gown fit for an African queen. Bangile and Sergio, you had a really amazing experience working with Marian Fassler, one of South Africa's famous designers. Please tell us about this experience. It's really an honor to be working with her. Uh, she, she's a lovely person to work with and she pushes you to the limit. I mean, crafting those garments, each fabric piece by piece, different types of fabrics, it was really amazing. 
As a designer, Tula Cindy draws creative energy from the world around him. We asked what inspires him every day. You know, Sankar has got a million things to see, a million things to smell, a million things to pick up, a million things to just enjoy. You know, and we South Africans have not even seen it all. So it's that continuous coming back and rediscovering, you know, a new little corner, a new little stream. For me, that is the eternal allure of South Africa.